The sun may be out for many in Maine now, but that certainly was not the case this morning and earlier this afternoon. Today's storm brought in high tides, which led to flooding and big waves in many coastal communities. This was marginal way in Portland near the U-Haul. At around high tide late this morning, you can see quite a bit of flooding in the roads. This area does flood frequently during bigger storms. But man, what a mess out there today. And yeah. it was just changing all the time. I swear I woke up, it was snowing, then it was sleeting, then it was raining. Make up saying, your mind. This is a perfect example of how our job is so much fun in Maine forecasting yeah. the weather because <laughs> it really sure. just depends where you were, what your perception of today's storm was. But if we take this from the beginning, the radar loop from the beginning, you can see that it was a little of everything. Rain pretty quickly along the coastline, especially southern coastal Maine. Snow was heavy inland with uh, two, three inches an hour briefly there. And now the storm is basically gone. The dynamics are, are ripped out of this thing and it is quiet now. Just a couple of rain and snow showers and ending as some freezing drizzle into the mountains and across northern Maine. So tonight the thing to think about is that we will refreeze a lot of surfaces and so areas that are wet uh, will freeze tonight. So this might be a salt or sand uh, situation where we drop down into the 20s and teens by early tomorrow morning. Single digits in the mountains where it's a kind of a crust probably on top of the snow that they got. And so things are a little slick tomorrow morning, but otherwise it's a decent day tomorrow, but it's going to be breezy and cold. And so this is the type of day that I think the last few years would have been a headline would have been, wow, it's really cold, but we've had a lot of those. So it's in the teens, it's in the single digits, if that into the mountains, and then with the wind chill, it's even colder. And then tomorrow night we really drop down, especially into the mountains in northern Maine. Look at these readings about midnight tomorrow night, 23 below air temperature. This is not wind chill, 23 below in Caribou as well, and a lot that are in the 10 to 15 below range. Probably get to around zero along the coastline briefly, and then we try to pop back up on Wednesday morning. Wednesday starts cold, but then a little clipper comes through with a little bit of moisture that actually warms us up. So off and on light snow through the morning on Wednesday into the middle of the day. And I think over southern Maine, this is a non-issue, but uh, central and northern Maine see some accumulating light snow on Wednesday. And then this system moves out Wednesday night and things are quiet on Thursday. As far as snowfall amounts here, doesn't look like a lot. Looks like it's a kind of a one to three inch deal here where the clipper comes through and then just a coating to an inch maybe along the coastline, down east Maine, mid coast and southern coastal Maine, and then south of that, really nothing at all. After that, it's cold on Friday again, and our next storm that we have to watch is for Saturday. Now the European model has this, which is a pretty direct hit on Saturday with accumulating snow. The GFS is offshore and it's suppressed with this, so we still have details to work out. I'm leaning towards it being a uh, hit for us, uh, especially along the coastline. And you kind of better hope it is, honestly, because if that storm doesn't hit, it gets really cold over the weekend as it's allowed to kind of pour in on the north side. Either way, it's cold Friday and it's cold again early next week. And this does not look good for midweek. It's another cold shot lurking. And so that's the story, I think, of January so far is we've had several really cold shots where temperatures even along the coastline get below zero. I think we've got another one Friday perhaps another one Saturday and definitely into early to mid next week, more cold shots on the way. And so I say with that, if we're going to do that, we might as well do the snow as well, because I don't know too many people who are psyched about it just being really cold. And that's yeah. kind of what we've been doing. Yeah. No. All right, Keith, thank you.